rabbit, rabbit. July 1st? June was like a blink of the eye, wasn't it? That's how summer goes. So here we are. It is summer. It is 4th of July. I'm sure this past weekend has been perhaps a challenge, perhaps a defeat, or perhaps a success. But wherever we are today, today is Monday, July 4th, and you still have a chance to grab yourself, grab those reins, and say, whoa, whoa. We don't have to turn this summer into a blur in more ways than the days going by fast. We also have to pay attention to what we're putting in our mouths. You know what works for you. If you don't know what works for you, you know what doesn't work for you, right? And so you want to catch it. You want to be on top of how your, your food plan goes, how you conduct your day, how you, you know, it, it's back to that thing that just had such a profound effect on me. If you've made the decision to be disciplined with how you eat, be it keto, carnivore, carnivish, even Weight Watchers, as long as you've made the decision that you're going to stay structured and disciplined, well, then that's what you're going to do. So when you are presented with a decision of a choice, you're going to have that thing that's a no-no that you've had every single summer? Or are you going to say, no, thank you, and find delight, comfort, and satiation in the foods that have given you pleasure all, you know, since you made that decision, right? And so maybe you won't be having those items that used to pull at you, that used to be delicious, that used to be, you know, all those things. But it's a great decision to make. Because now you're, now you're looking at you and your body as a vehicle of health that you want to go the distance. This is not a sprint. This is not to fit into that bikini or even that one piece or whatever, whatever. Um, no, this is about taking care of yourself, eating the foods that make you feel better, that make your labs change and, and for the better that make your, makes your body, you know, just recompose into what it's supposed to be day after day after day. Sometimes even maybe making the sagging skin tighten up a little bit. That's happened to a few people along the way. That's a gift. Let me tell you, because I, I, I got some sagging skin for you guys. So that's what we do. We make, we make the decision, and then when purpose... Blah, 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 when presented with choices, then we know which way we have to go. It's an automatic. It's not like, hmm, hmm. You know, it, it, it's the decision for your health, for the longevity. No, no bite is ever worth it. Nobody's ever come back on here and said they ate crap all weekend long, gained five pounds of bloat and um, <clears throat> weight on the scale. Because, of course... Why not beat yourself up more and weigh yourself, right? As if it's not enough. And then say it was a great time and worth it. No, no. Maybe somebody has, but they're delusional. And the doctor was out when they showed up for their appointment to do a smackdown of them. <laughs> so here we are. We're just, we're just doing it. You know, maybe, maybe this is time for tweaks beginning tomorrow on the 5th. I don't know. Maybe, maybe your big patty continues all week long. Maybe this is a week that you took as a vacation. You just need to be mindful and careful, don't you? Don't you want to be? Um, nothing like coming out of a vacation with no gains. You know, even just staying the same. That's great. Um, <clears throat> I still do my silly little, no matter what, um, rituals and routines. Every day when I wake up, I have my warm lemon water. First, I put some Celtic salt crystals on my tongue. I have my little thyroid pill. Um, a few hours later, I have my little electrolyte mixture with my um, 14 grams tablespoon of fresh lemon juice on the powders. And then, you know, I dump it back and just go for it that way. Then I drink mineral water. You know, I'm not sipping on it all day long, but, you know, I'll have, I'll, I know when I'm thirsty. It's great to kind of know your body and when you need to um, fill it up. There's a, there's a 
day last week that I just didn't want that second 20 ounce um, of liquid. I, uh, I'd had some mineral water, but I, I hadn't had my 20 ounces with the <clears throat> um, supplements that I usually have a couple of hours before my OMAD. And I didn't have it. Um, I didn't have my supplements and I didn't have that. It just felt like it might have been too much. Maybe, maybe because it was humid out and, you know, my body had already absorbed a lot of moisture. I don't know. But I didn't have it. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I, sometimes you can just do a tell on your body and um, how it feels and go with it. Um, you know, this isn't, this isn't a race with boxes to be checked off. Sometimes my daily routine is. It's a bunch of boxes that need to be checked off, like today, um, being a Monday. You know, I have a lot of things that I still have to, as they say, chop wood and carry water because that's that's just how it is being Sarah P. Pearl. You know, I still got to make the stuff for Greg's meals for the five days that he has every single day. I still have to, you know, like wash a bunch of lemons and have them ready for my daily. I still have to... You know, take care of the cats, do the laundry, vacuum, all that same sort of stuff. Just because it's a holiday doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. It's, it, you know, most women don't have that luxury. It's still chop wood, carry water, do the do. And that's good. You know, it helps. Routines, routines are, are, are important. And so, yep, I got most of the things that I need to be done, done. And um, I will now bathe and get ready to uba and lift. And um, I'm liking those things. It's funny. There's this man at my meeting, and, and he's in his 70s, and he, he stopped working about a month ago and uh, decided that, you know, because he's kind of in construction engineering, like highways and stuff. And he said, you know, this is foolish. You know, I don't need to work this hard at this age. He's got great pensions and Social Security. And... Um, what did he do for a month? He got fat. He sat at home. <laughs> so I saw him yesterday at, at my um, Sunday AA meeting, and, and he said, well, where have you been? And I said, well, where have you been? You know, And it's, he was staring at the walls. He gained weight. He, he was bored. His head was starting to get wonky. And um, so now he's you know back to work. And um, I said, I know. That's why I, I began to do the Uber and the Lyft during the day because it got me out of the house. It got me out of my head. My head thinks it's hungry all the time. Ms. Slick is just, she's she's something. And so, yeah, it's been nothing but, but good for me to get out and get, you know, get my vitamin D from the light coming through the window of the car and seeing beautiful parts of the Cape that I wouldn't see. Um, I'm not a beach person. I got enough skin cancer for all of us on my face. And so, you know, I just stay out of harm's way and just get small doses of the, of the D. But it is rabbit rabbit. And so here we are. It's July 1st and you want to take care of yourselves. It's probably going to be a big patty weekend, you know, with the 4th coming. May the 4th be with you um, on Thursday. So there's going to be a lot of long weekends. It's going to, it's going to take off here. Um, and today is July 1st, and you can make some great decisions about how you're going to conduct, conduct yourself for um, not only the 4th of July and the, you know, the days surrounding it, but the month, you know, um, as you're presented with all kinds of parties and cookouts and things like that, you can get your verbiage in order, you know, no thank you, you can bring your own food with you. Um, I know a lot of people that have a bunch of, um, you know, they, they go along to get along and they'll have what's being served. They pay for it. They pay for it. So instead of, you know, not wanting to like look like you're different by bringing your nice hamburger patty or maybe even, you know, some bacon wrapped asparagus or something, you know, that's what I suggest. Bring something that you can eat along with a piece of meat that won't kill your microbiome and, um, you know, make you look um, kind of normal, stuff like that. So what am I having today? Well, I got it all ready. And um, here's my report. Today I am having 1,100. This is the chronometer. And I am having 1,180 calories today. My protein is at a nice 100 grams. 
My total carbs, I never do net, is 2.5, and my fats are 85.7. And like a Chamber of Commerce day with the weather, this is one of those perfect, perfect days for me. Um, so what am I having? Well, I'm having four ounces of ribeye. I am having um, six ounces of roast uh, lamb. I am having um, three Pete and Jerry medium eggs, two tablespoons of chopped onions, um, having my lemon juice. Did I say chopped onions? Yeah, the green onions. And um, I'm having two tablespoons of butter and I'm having my key two creamer, my non-dairy creamer. So it's a non-dairy day, um, except for the butter, but um, that doesn't seem to affect me. And that's what I'm having. And it will be a glorious, yummy food day. I love my food. Um, I love being mostly carnivore. It just suits me. And so I hope that you're finding what works for you. Tweaking is always something that's good for you because it gets you to where you need to be, where it's not it's not stressful. It's not, um, you know, it's just, it's lovely. Your food plan is lovely. You can go about your day. You don't have the stress. Miss Slick isn't pushing you towards something you shouldn't have. Wow. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Just a whole lot less stress in your head about food so you can get on with the business of getting on. I love it. Well, rabbit, rabbit. I hope you said it when you first woke up. I hope you have a wonderful July. I hope you have a wonderful um, weekend, but I'll, I'll be here tomorrow because that's what I do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.